Dude, check out this cute little adorable neighborhood. These homes are skyrocketing in value, just like homes all across America. And I thought, you know what? There's five hidden little secrets that if you knew, you could increase the value of each of these homes on average by $35,000. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all five of those hacks, and believe it or not, this comes right out of data and research. Let's increase the value of your home 35 grand. One, 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 one shot, now the future for sure, let's go. I'm turning dreams into reality, yeah. It's one, all, one shot, now the future for sure, let's go. So, one of my favorite mentors in the game of real estate, Dolph DeRoos, uh, he wrote a book um, titled 100 Different Strategies for Dramatically Increasing the Value of Your Home. And um, you know, I've, as I've had a chance to really connect with Dolph as a business partner of mine, we've talked about these strategies. And it's amazing how sometimes you can spend very small amounts of money, but dramatically increase the value of something and get some really big ROI. You know, think about for just a moment, these homes right here, at some point when someone wants to sell them, if they want to get top dollar, you might say, well, come on, the market's going up. I'm gonna get top dollar anyway. I'm like, well, there's top dollar and then there's top dollar. So after consulting with Dolph, I agreed with him that these five that I'm gonna share with you today are probably the five simplest things that you can do to dramatically increase the value of your home. So when it's time to sell, you can put some extra money in the bank. See what I got here? It's not the dinner bell. The dinner bell. <laughs> Don't that remind you of nothing? Yeah, dinner. This is uh, there's a couple of medals that I earned this last weekend at a physique competition. And you know what? Online, everywhere on my social media, I've got people saying, oh my gosh, Chris, how did you do it? How did you achieve that low body fat? How did you dehydrate your body? How did you nutrition yourself? What was your workout routine? They always wanna know like the secrets to how someone does something extraordinary. And one of the things that I love about social media is that I get to share all of these hacks with the world that have been hugely beneficial to me. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five secret hidden hacks that if you do, you can collectively increase the value of your home potentially by $35,000. Wanna know what they are? Check it out. So what do I mean by hidden factors? Well, I'm talking about the small things that most people don't really know about. A rental property, for example, is one of your largest assets and there are many factors which contribute to its value. Beyond obvious things like square footage and the age of the home, there are many hidden factors that can add up to make you lose tens of thousands or make tens of thousands of dollars on a single deal. And listen, this is true for rentals, but this is also true for a primary residence, like a home that you own and at some point you want to offload this asset and the question is how do I sell this thing for top dollar? You know, a traditional investor says, wow, you know, I've held this house for a period of time. I probably need to list it on the market after having painted the inside and after maybe redoing the carpet and basically spruce it up a little bit. And if it's nice and clean and looks great, you know, let's sell it and that's gonna be great. Well, everyone knows that stuff, right? Obviously, if you wanna get top dollar, it needs to be in good condition, but there's a lot of finer points that most people aren't aware of that can also dramatically increase value. Those are the five things that I wanna hone on with you today. Let's talk about internet speed. Is this video b b b b b b b buffering or are you watching it real time? Well, check this out. A nationwide study released recently by researchers at the Carnegie Mellon found that fiber optic connections, the fastest type of high speed internet available, can add $5,437 to the price of a $175,000 home. If this helps to increase the rent, then it can also be worth it, but if not, it may be the best way to avoid this luxury expense. Now, I want you to think about that, $175,000 home and adding $5,000 to the price tag because of this little box right here? Like, that's really kind of crazy. But what it goes to show from this research, this is what people value today. They want that 5G network on their cell phone and in their home, they want really fast MVPs. So, if you can install a system that has that higher fiber optic or gives you the ability to literally cruise the internet at a faster speed, people value that. How much? Well, at least $5,400 worth. I am from Washington, and I will tell you right now that I'm a tree hugger. Just hold it tight, close to yourself. There's something about trees that wake me up and make me feel alive. 
Trees are really important to me. But it turns out that trees are really important to the landscape of real estate. According to the PNW Research Station, a tree in front of a house increases the home sales price by an average of $7,130. While a good landscape can increase the rentability of a home, make sure you run the numbers before you pay extra for something that doesn't affect the renter's quality of life. Because I'm telling you right now, a tree in front of the house, $7,000, that's crazy. I'm gonna go take me a trip down to the landscape score. I'm gonna go buy me a little sapling and I'm gonna go plant a couple of those in front of each one of my houses. Speaking of modern age house hacks when it comes to increasing a home's value, I was having a conversation recently with a buddy of mine that installs solar on homes. Like he has a solar company and I've always been curious. I'm like, man, solar is kind of one of those expensive things and because more and more people are getting them, that means that people are now buying houses with solar, I wonder if that affects the value. I mean, after all, isn't it just technology that's gonna wear out? Check this out. According to Zillow, solar panels in a home equates to an additional $9,274 for the median value home in the United States. While this may help to reduce monthly utility bills, it's a hard sell to get the tenants to pay more for a solar powered house. And again, when you go to sell it, just think what that actually does to the overall value of the home. That's a really big one. Now between that and $7,000 trees and $5,400 you know, on uh, high-speed internet, this stuff is starting to add up. I was being a lazy investor. I'd bought this house, I just wanted to flip it on the market. I didn't wanna put time and attention into it. And the house, dang it, it just wasn't selling. So you know what? I said, fine, go buy $1,000 worth of paint and let's put some paint and lipstick on this sucker. And you know what happened? The very next week it sold. Here's why. On average, nationally, painting both the inside and outside of your home costs around $1,000, but it can yield a $4,000 plus rise in the home value. Be careful not to overpay for something that looks nice, but is essentially the same product. The ideal home would be one that you can paint yourself or you can certainly hire it out. Paint, bottom line, is just one of those things that it's a must. Um, I, I know that it is probably the last hack worthy of any of the five that I'm talking about today, but I can't ignore it because I love the arbitrage. Arbitrage means I pay this much and I get this much ROI. It's just huge. In fact, all the things that we've talked about today, like the monthly you know, cost of a router to increase the internet speed, but add $5,400 to the value of the home just because it's fast, um, you know, or, or a tree, what does a tree cost? A tree doesn't cost $7,000, but it can increase the value $7,000. So I think these are really important hacks and the next one is one of my favorites. You know what these smart homes are all about, right? Like literally from my cell phone, I can control the temperature in the house, I can tell my bathtub when to turn on, I can tell my lights at bedtime to go totally out, or I can set the mood. The mood, you know what I'm talking about. Okay Google, set the mood. Let me take care of that. So smart homes, there's some value in that. And here's what one study came out and said. They said smart home companies claim that upgrading to smart door locks, security cameras, thermostats, and lighting can increase property value from five to 35%. When wowed by convenient technology, it can be easy to fall into the trap of paying extra for a modern setup, but it may be difficult to recover these expenses when renting the home. So maybe it doesn't make a big difference when it comes to renting. It's not like I'm gonna increase rents $300, but when it comes to selling the house, 5% on a $200,000 home, that's 10 grand. 35%, that's a really big number. In fact, I have a hard time really seeing that. In fact, I'm just gonna outright say I disagree with that. But within moderation, truth there is that we live in a modern world and people want these houses equipped with a lot of the modern conveniences that we've talked about today. And a smart home apparently gives you some ROI when selling that home. Well, shoot, we talked about everything today except for, Chris, how do I actually get a good deal on the house? Not just how do I increase its value, how do I find a cash cow, baby? Like a house that's just gonna print money. Something that's gonna rent well, it's gonna produce cash flow, it's gonna go up in value, it's gonna be tax benefits. That, my friend, is why I wrote The Straight Path to Real Estate Wealth. And yes, I did spell it this way intentionally, there's a story behind it. This book is a blueprint with five steps of exactly how you find a really good deal so that you can make millions of dollars in the game of real estate right there in your backyard. And you know what I'm charging for this book today? Free 99. Mm, it's free. Uh, in the link below, I will have, ask you to cover the shipping, but other than that, the book itself, my team's gonna send it out to you. And I'm gonna tell you right now that the information in this book has created many a millionaire. Ask yourself, are you a millionaire in real estate? 
then you probably haven't read my book. So you, you, you need to read it, and then more importantly, you need to execute, right? Like follow the strategy. Listen, I got started with $5,000, and I turned that into millions of dollars. So if you don't have a path for becoming a multimillionaire, this is your ticket. If only I had an ultimate guide to investing in real estate. I made a video for that. Literally, I made a video for you. Literally, it is the ultimate guide for how you actually get started. Because I get it, right? Chris, I can get the book, but can't you just like condense it and give me the cliff notes and show me right now? Yes, it's right here. I've been going up in value. But what if I told you in today's video that I could show five little simple hidden hacks that could increase value of this home? Oh, I'll just try one more time. All right. Ready? Dude, check out this cute little adorable 